This is going to be a video on how to make side-by-side -side box plots. I um, am working with some um, data from an engineering firm, and it had a lot of blanks, uh, missing values. So the first thing I did is I filtered those out, and now I'm going to want to create a side-by-side -side box plot. Um, it's a, generally a good idea not to work with filtered data, uh, although I believe charts will automatically update to your filtering. I'm going to, now that I, I went through and I used the data, in the data tab, I used the filter. I will select this uh, filtered data by choosing the cell A1, which is the upper left corner of my data. I'm gonna come down to the bottom right corner, hit shift, click, so I've selected it all. And then I use control C for copy. Now I'm going to go over to the bottom here and I'm gonna, sorry about that popped up by accident, but I'm gonna select this little plus icon to get another sheet. And up here in A1, I'm gonna select the values. So now I have all my data um, with, that I filtered down to, but it's no longer got the other unfiltered, the, the stuff I filtered out in the background. Um, I'm going to select all these cells and come over here on the home tab to format and then auto fit column width, just so I don't have anything in too small of a column. Okay, all of that was not part of creating the box plot. Okay, I'm going to now create a um, side by side box plot. So I'm going to, what I want to do is show salary um, on the y axis, if you will, of the box plot. And I want to break it down by the level of engineering, which is engineering. So I'm going to start by just selecting salary. So I'm going to select all the data here in salary. And I'm going to come up here to, and I can go to recommend the charts, or I can go over here to the histogram box plot. So I'm going to choose box plot. So probably you've already done something like this when you were working with, um, I'm going to move it up so it's not way down at the bottom. There we go. All right, so this is probably um, something you've done if you tried to create a data distribution to find outliers using the box plot method. Um, but what we want to do is actually use this to um, look at the data, numerical data, uh, divided up by a categorical variable, in this case, level. So I've selected the chart. You can see the little white circles around the corners and edges. And I'm going to go up here to chart design, and now I'm going to go to select data. Now for select data, um, it's going to, it's already picked the salary data. Now I'm going to go over here to the horizontal axis label category, and I'm going to choose edit. Here it wants the axis level range. So for this, I'm going to go and I'm going to select the um, values of level in this column. And I'll hit OK. And now I'm going to hit OK here. And let's scroll back up so we can see it. So you can see that we've now added, um, we've broken up that box plot into groupings by engineering one, engineering two, and senior engineer. And this allows us to see the spread of salaries within each one of those categories.